Off and racing in the 1997 Bolero Adam in a B Cup and Cloud Dancing. Last year's winner got out very well, but Rich King is going straight to the lead. And Rich King leads at the winning post with 1,500 to go by two Cloud Dancing. So the Comet, the Toppy and Favourites, third on settling down. And running back there to last was Cloud Dancing. Out of the back though, and then front is Rich King by two lengths on Cloud Dancing. So the Comet and Marja Say was last of the field of four, giving the leader probably about six lengths, 1,400 to go. Rich King by four lengths now. Running second, last year's winner, Cloud Dancing. A length and a half back to the favourite and top weight, Sober Comet. And two off last, the Marja Say. Just inside the 1,000 metre mark and Rich King got out by four and a half. Running second, Cloud Dancing. A length and a quarter third, the top weight, Sober Comet. With the 59 and a half, he'll be asked to go shortly. And last, Marja Say. It's been a very quick pace out in front and Rich King still leads by four to five lengths. Running second, Cloud Dancing. Two off to Sober Comet, starting to go, urged to go forward by Bundy, and Marja stays going with him at the 600 metre mark or just inside that, and Rich King leads by five lengths. Cloud Dancing to second, top weight struggling Sober Comet, he ranked back to last, and Marja Say whipped around him. It's Rich King turning for home, 400 to go. He's lead three and a half lengths clear. Cloud Dancing's coming after him with Marja Say. Sober Comet's battling back under the big weight. Rich King in front. He's starting to get to feel it. On the outside, Cloud Dancing and Marja Say. Marja Say's getting the Cloud Dancing. Marja Say's grab Cloud Dancing. Marja Say's going home the better. And Marja Say's won the cup from Cloud Dancing. Sober Comet a half a length away third and only three quarters to a length back in last position was the early leader, Rich King. A great finish to a four-horse race and Marja Say. Marja Say's just been too good for him. He's run down last year's winner, Cloud Dancing, and under 59 and a half kg sober comedy just couldn't make up the ground, and he's finished third. Great race with Marja Say taking out the cup for 1997. And our thanks to Jeff Tutt for, with his call of the 1997 Adam Minnaby Cup. We'll be back to Jeff to check the details, margins, etc. shortly. Now, coming up, Adelaide Gold... Ruler and Express A to dropping back after the start. First out, Royal Discard taken on by Baby Bomber from I Like to See That and Civil List is nice and prominent. Space Cash whipping around the outside with Kentucky Blue when they settle down and Dry Humor will shuffle back on the fence. Sorting themselves out, Baby Bomber in front now from on the outside second, Civil List is racing keenly. A length further back, Space Cash, two to Kentucky Blue, one and a half, I like to see that, a length further back, Raleen. Then Royal Discard, Dry Humor, three deep Express Age, two then to Always a Chance, Litmus. Waiter's Eyes from Numb, Singer, Cedric Ruler and Super Express, well strung out at the 850. And the leader is Baby Bomber, about a half in front from Civil List there. Three in front of Space Cash, one and a half, Kentucky Blue, niggled at fourth, a length and a half, Raleen fifth. Then I like to see that on the inside there of Express Age. Two to Royal Discard, a long gap litmus, dry humour, always a chance, Numb Sing. Waiter's Eyes, a set of Griller and Super Express. These two have cleared out again, Baby Bomber, a half civil list when they turn. Three further back, Space Cash, Express Age around Ruling from Royal Discard. Uh, discard into the outside, always a chance. Civil list going up to Baby Bomber, 300 to go. Three lengths in front of Royal Discard, out in the middle, finishing very hard from Express Age. Civil list grabbed by Royal Discard. Royal Discard out wide hit the front from Civil List, Express Age and Baby Bomber and Royal Discard's coming on. Royal Discard wins two and a half to Civil List second. Third Express Age from Dry Humour out deep. Then Baby Bomber, a gap litmus, always a chance, ascetic ruler. Uh, Space Cash, Waiter's Eyes, Num Sing well back, a gap then to Ruleen. Further back, I like to see that followed by Super Express and Kentucky Blue is tailed off. Number two, Royal Discard, 15, 10 and 4.30, eight Civil List at $2. Three Express Age, $3. Moving in, Kemba. Number two, Royal Discard, 1480-440. Number eight, Civil List to return 180. And a three for third, Express Edge to return a place dividend of $2.50. And the daily double on seven and two, $279 in Melbourne. Now we have uh, Adelaide.
100 metres goes to the lead. Three quarters fond return. Admiring glances third from over the rising. Fox rode out on a limb and then Riscala. Joss sticks pratted out very wide. The rider looking continually across over the right to see if he can get in, but he can't. And then Ice and Glass and further back is Emery, Jack and Archie. And last of all is Nasser Rich. They race on past the 11.50 and quickly Fox Road scoots to the lead by two lengths. Prince Regalia. Third on the outside, fond return. Two and a half admiring glances. Another similar gap of two and a half then to Joss Dix. He's still a little bit wide from over the rising Riscala, Ice and Glass, Emery, Jack and Archie. And the tail ender is Nasser Rich. Fox Road onto the high street side going over the 8.50 crossing. Three quarters fond return. A length admiring glances. Wider out Riscala. Prince Regalia on the fence. A length that Joss Dix by Gietel test him right out today. He's never been anywhere near, near the rails. Followed by over the rising Emery's out off the track. He's outside Jostix in fact. Jack and Archie on the inside from Ice and Glass and Nasser Rich and this is nice and competitive this race as they travel to the home corner at the 500 and Fox Road. Oh all the jockeys are starting to scout very very wide and as they straighten up it's Fox Road about a length admiring glances Prince Regali the inside from Fond Return. Jostix is still a mile back. Emery's on his outside. Nasser Rich and Ice and Glass having a bumping duel there on the extreme outside. Prince Regalia took the shortest way through on what's supposedly the worst section of track but he kicked away the regalia on the outside fond return having a shot but Prince Regalia's got to hold the memory flying Prince Regalia wins however from Emery fond return ran third and then over the rising Rascala Fox Road Jack and Archie Ice and Glass Joss Sticks uh, they found him out today followed by admiring glances and Nasser which weakened in the last 50 but not a bad run by the same token number seven Prince Regalia 1180 and 350 number Three for second, Emery, 180, and two Fond return, 3.30. The others left the rail like the plague on the home corner. And, gee, it doesn't say much for this track, does it? <sighs> Number seven, Prince Regalia, written by B. York, the winner, has paid $12.30 the win, 3.60 the place. Three, Emery got home well, 190, and two Fond return at $3.30. To think in the... Uh, latter stages of November we've got to rail out nine meters of course but uh, many of the jockeys can't get wide enough uh, in the home straight believing that uh, the inside section is certainly very very shifty where it's been filled with sand particularly following racing here last week anyway there's bound to be plenty written about it in the press tomorrow seven three and two Prince Regalia B York first 1230 and 360 number three Emery L Cassidy 190 a number two fond return at a good race three dollars thirty thirty one sixty Quinella exacta paid eighty three dollars and forty cents the trifecta five hundred and eighty dollars fifty six and seven daily double fifty seven fifty and the winner trained by Gay Waterhouse for Dr. P and Mrs. L Hughes, a Bay Gilding 5 Arch Regent Ever Elegant from Emery Success Express, Free Sand Bay Gilding 5, Jay Hawks, L Cassidy and Two Fond Return. And he's now trained by Paul Perry by Inna Murata, Gay Farewell, six-year-old chestnut gelding, Jim Cassidy, with number six over the rising, finishing fourth. Seven, three, two, with fourth to six in the time of 136.79. And we're standing by for a little bit slow away. Quahira Legend bounced quickly and Sir Talek is travelling forward. Santero from the outside and Spy King showing speed. Gift Bouquet, Luna Flight just behind them settling down. Santero from the outside, Spy King and pushing up is Sir Talek. They lead out about a length and a half. Luna Flight followed by Trelay over on the inside. Quahira Legend back running about sixth and Gift Bouquet. Wonder Gold Deputy and further back our Savart from Havalash and a gap in the race. Pegasa Prince well back in the race then came over on the inside. Stenar. 6.50 out now. Sir Telic and Santero, one and a half Spy King. Further back in the race then came to the outside would have been a Tra Lay. Uh, they're followed by Gift Bouquet, Quahira Legend, three lengths off them up to the turn. House of Art, the fence and a gap to Stenar and further back Luna Flight when they turn. Then Gold Deputy around the turn, Sir Telic and Santero. Santero put its head in front. Further out in the track now is Trale coming after them pretty quickly. Trale out in the centre, moved up and hit the front. Our Savard away from the fence. Stenar getting up on the rail but running out of room. Then Quahira Legend, it's Trale in front of Sir Talek and Stenar getting a late run. It's Trale out wide getting through now. Late is Stenar and Stenar. Stenar and Trale. Stenar might have gone home better to win from Trale. Not much in it. Behind them on the inside is Sir Talek. 
Then our Savart Gold Deputy from Quahira Legend further out. Then came Santiro, a gap then to well back Pagasa Prince. Then Spy King from Havalash with Gift Bouquet and Luna Flight near the tail. Number seven, Stenner, 440 and 180 or 8 Trelay, 880 and 310 for third, four, Sir Talak, 190. And on the super tab, number seven, Stenar, 470, 170, eight, uh, Trelay, if it gets it, 873 even, and four, Sir Talak, 240. Uh, number eight gets it, Trelay, Trelay, the outside's got it here, number eight. It's just got there from Stenar, who had the momentum, gee, it's been something beaten, ran right up the back side of them in the home straight. And has dived through with the momentum, but the one on the outside trail A, although it's just drifted towards about three horses further out, has hung on here, number eight, over seven, Stenar, and third is number four, Sir Talek. Okay, eight. Off in the last event here at Royal Randwick, and banner headline, the inside runner, best out from Kukulin, Diabolical, Jovial Dancer, followed at the head of the others by McCavity right up there and trying to get over from a wide position, two and a half Marrow getting back a little now, followed by up to conquer, then comes Ed Mandy and a good margin away next, Sharp Rouge, my cliffhanger and three lengths inauguration. They head along past the 1200 marker and Kukulin leads the way narrowly from banner headline. Third posse is McCavity, Jovial Dancer, fourth and and then Diabolical, followed by Maroc, out to conquer Ed Mandy the inside from My Cliffhanger and Sharp Rouge and Two Lengths Inauguration. Banner headline per medium of the inside running pulls his way through to show the way again from Kukulin as they come down to the 800. Third is McCavity around Jovial Dancer from Diabolical and then out to conquer Maroc and Ed Mandy. Two lengths to Sharp Rouge. My Cliffhanger on the inside and still Two Lengths Inauguration quietly written and would be about, oh, I'd say a dozen lengths from Banner Headline who snuck away coming past the 600 and leads nearly two lengths on Kukulin and McCavity then Diabolical Jovial Dancer Maroc and out to conquer Sharp Rouge and then Ed Mandy second last in the field is my cliffhanger and still last of all Stone Mother listen back to the inside inauguration 300 to go banner headline J.A. Cassidy hasn't moved on the favourite McCavity works to second Diabolical third inauguration is starting to make up ground but would need to but Jimmy Cassidy goes on banner headline inauguration and Diabolical battle out second and third, but Banner Headline, a classy commodity, wins well from inauguration and Diabolical. And then came Kukulin, McCavity, Jovial Dancer, followed by my cliffhanger, Maroc, Sharp Rouge, Ed Mandy, at Absolute out to conquer. Super tab on the last four, Banner Headline, 261.50, two inauguration, $189, Diabolical, 340. He's way through to lead down by the 900, and Jimmy just gave him more rain in the straight, and he's a pretty good horse, this fellow, and he toyed with him. Inauguration's done a good job to come from where he did to get second. Number four, Banner Headline, has paid 270 and 160. Number two, Inauguration, has paid 170. And number nine in third spot, Diabolical, has paid... Three dollars and forty cents. You know he's had only twenty-seven starts. Diabolical, two wins, four thirds, but he's had ten second placings. The winner by Dane Hill from Daily Dispatch, a bay gilding four, trained by Jack Denham for A.J. Baddock and F. Suarez, written by Jim Cassidy. Second placing going to number two, inauguration, a bay gilding four, Success Express, Garden of Eden, John Morris, Len Beasley, and number nine, Diabolical, the five-year-old chestnut gilding, Nassau poor, double Liz, John Hawks, Larry Cassidy. The time, 1.36.35, 1.36.35, the sectional time to come. Here are the superfecta numbers, 4.29, number 12 round. And fourth, that was Kukulin. Number eight was fifth, McCavity. And sixth, Posse went to number one, Jovial Dancer. Four, two, nine, twelve, eight, one on the final event in Sydney. The Quinella.